the fusion. <laughs> Well, what we're going to do right now is I'm just kind of going to kind of go through the process of how I, how this whole thing came to be. And uh, the first thing I want to talk to you about is why I selected a ballet uh, or writing music for dance. For me, that started when I was in college, um, probably, um, probably about 12 or 13 years ago, when I was taking a dance appreciation class. And I remember studying all of the great choreographers and, and dancers and, and um, composers. The time period that stuck out in my mind is, is just fantastic was the, the period of the Ballet Russe, the early uh, 1900s. And I remember studying about Debussy and the prelude to the afternoon of the fall and work that greatly has influenced me as a composer, Stravinsky's The Rite of Spring, uh, of course the world of Diaghilev, Nijinsky as a choreographer, Boxed as a, a person who created the scenery and the backdrop uh, for these ballets. And it really inspired me. Uh, at the time, when I was that age, I don't think I quite had the tools to, um, to pull it off. Uh, but about a year and a half or so ago, I uh, went to the movies to see a movie called Coco and Chanel. And uh, the opening scene of that movie, uh, they are reproducing um, the opening night of The Rite of Spring in Paris. And it was just, it was really beautiful. And it kind of reset this passion in me that I had when I was in college, and I thought to myself, now is the time. I have all the tools I need uh, as a composer to do it, so why not? And so the next thing that I had to do is, of course, uh, decide what the subject matter was going to be. And so I kind of went back to my childhood. Uh, when I was a kid, uh, on Saturday afternoons, they would have these um, macabre, or as I was a child, I would refer to them as scary movies. Uh, and one of my favorite actors was Vincent Price. And a lot of Vincent Price movies were um, recreations of Poe stories. And I remember watching uh, The Mask of the Red Death, or The Fall of the House of Usher, or the, uh, the, the Black Cat, The Pit and the Pendulum, The Raven. And I just loved these as a child. And of course, uh, as I got older, I started reading the real, the, the real Poe stories and the real, uh, the real literature and continued just to love it. And about 10 years ago, uh, I bought a, uh, maybe about a 12 volume set, antique set of uh, Poe's complete works. And so I pulled those books back out and started rereading them and just fell in love with, uh, with it. And I said, this is it. It's got to be.